Hello friends, today we are going to add a couple of new characters to the true fighting game engine for Unreal Engine 5. So, I have a copy of a new true fighting engine project. I have renamed it to True Tutorial for convenience. Let's open it. True fighting engine contains a main character blueprint based on UE5 skeleton and it has a child blueprint for UE4 skeleton. So we can easily add new characters compatible with UE4 and UE5. We can actually add characters based on any other skeletons as well, but I am going to cover this topic in a separate tutorial. Today we are going to add a couple of UE4 rigged characters. If you want to add a UE5 character, you do absolutely the same, but you will want to inherit BP through FG base character instead of BP through FG mannequin UE4, which we are going to use today. And you will want to use move sets and hit sets for that UE5 class. So I open the Epic Games launcher, and in the Epic Store we have a nice free character asset pack. Uh, named Stylized Character Kit Casual 01. You can get it for free. I already have it in my library, so I just hit Add to Project and select my True Tutorial Project. Alright, it has been added. In the Content Drawer we now see this new SCK Casual 01 folder. Let's open it and navigate to Models Premade Characters. We see four meshes there. They are assigned to the UE4 skeleton that comes with the casual package, but let's reassign them to the UE4 skeleton that comes with the true fighting engine. We select all the meshes with Ctrl click or Shift click, and then we right click, and in the menu we go to the skeleton, assign skeleton. We could also do it via the property matrix, by the way, but let's do it in this more obvious way today. In the pop-up window, we select the mannequin underscore skeleton. Uh, we see the path to it under the true FG folder, so that's what we need. Uh, the new meshes have some additional bones, and Unreal Engine prompts us to add them to the skeleton. Uh, not a problem, we just hit OK. And then we have this pop-up window three more times uh, for each of the meshes. And we select the same skeleton each time and hit Accept. Right. Now, in our content drawer, let's navigate to the Content through FGE Characters Mannequin folder. It is the folder of our basic UE4 character, and we see this character blueprint named BP3RDFGE Mannequin UE4. Let's right click on it and create child blueprint class. Name it BP3RDFGE Casual02, just for clarity, as we are going to use that mesh PC02 for this character. And let's duplicate it, as we want to add one more character. Now, under the True FG Characters folder, let's create a new one and name it Casual. And from the Mannequin folder, let's drag these new character blueprints to this folder and select Move here. It is not a must, but just to have it structured. Now. Open the first blueprint to edit. Select the mesh component. And in its details tab at the right, near the skeletal mesh option, find our mesh PC02 and select it. Right. It uses the same animation blueprint as our basic UE4 character, so it is ready to work. Now let's search for physics asset. And we see this 
mannequin underscore physics asset. Uh, the pop-up window says it is from our true FG mannequin UE4 folder. So that's what we want. Let's select it. Now here at the left, let's select the root of the blueprint. And in its details at the right, we search for character. This is the unique name which will identify this character. Let's type casual02 here. Don't forget to save and compile. And we may close the window. Now, let's do the same for our second character blueprint. But let's set the mesh named mesh PC03 for this guy. And we now set the same physics asset. And we set the character name to casual03. Save and compile and close the window. In the content drawer, navigate to True FG Blueprints Miscellaneous folder and open the BP True FG Functions Blueprint class. Double click the populate characters map at the left. And you see there are the make character nodes, which is signed together health, moveset, hit set, mesh and character blueprint. And there is the make map node that actually adds them all to the engine under their unique names. So, you see, this node creates a character for our basic UE4 mannequin. Let's select it and press Ctrl D on our keyboard to duplicate. It is for the same skeleton as our new characters use as well, so we can use the same moveset and the heat map. Now, let's set the mesh PC2 in the mesh parameter and BP through FG Casual02 as a blueprint. In the next video we will learn how to create a new moveset and a heat map, but for now let's use what we do already have. Now let's go to the Make Map node, right click and select the Add Key Value Pair. The K is the name, type here Casual02. Do you remember we have specified it inside the character blueprint. And we drag a connection from the make character node to the corresponding value pin. And let's do the same for our second character. We duplicate the last make character node and we set the mesh PC03 for the mesh. And our BP through FGE casual03 as the character blueprint. Add a key value pair. Type the name casual03. And we drag the connection. Save, compile and close the window. Let's run the game. On this map we have the player character on the left and the AI character spawns on the right. So we will now set them to use our new characters. Uh, to change the player character navigate to True FGE Blueprints and open the BP True FGE Game Mode class. And here is a node which finds the character by its name in the map. So just type here casual02 instead of that mannequin UE4. Save, compile and close the window. And our map also contains the AI spawner which spawns the bot enemy. Find it in the 
outliner and click the edit BP uh, spawner at the right and let's set the character parameter to casual 03 and we save and compile and close the window let's run the game right Just in case, if your new characters don't appear in the game, it can happen if Unreal Engine didn't manage to update characters map in the game settings, uh, delete the current true FG settings object from your map, and drag the BP true FG settings class anywhere to the map, and it will create an updated settings instance.